don't slip Sailing on a sinking ship Into the sunset in bed Dark night on a long highway Little lights in the houses say Somebody's staying well, to go home, this project was, um, was a very interesting one. They had a piece of music by uh, Daniel Johnston. Daniel Johnston is um, a writer, songwriter, and I recently saw the documentary about him. He's, uh, he has mental problems, he's, he's been in mental wards, and, but he's had a lot of songs recorded by famous people. Uh, my take on Daniel Johnston, it's funny because I'm a, I'm a huge Nirvana fan, and um, Daniel Johnston was a singer-songwriter, and he had been influential to a lot of the early uh, grunge acts in the early 90s, like Pearl Jam had, has covered a song of his, uh, Nirvana. That was the primary task for us, was to try and take the raw energy that, that he sort of just has, even when it's just him sitting at a piano. But this needed something that was a little bit bigger, it was a little bit more, like I said, it was anthem anthemic, and, um, and it, it needed a bigger sound. All right, well then I guess uh, Kip's coming after him, we'll do the vocals, then we are going to have to record. The Village is a very famous recording studio on Santa Monica Boulevard in West L.A. Just an icon uh, historically in, in Los Angeles, and that's not just from a musical standpoint, although music has been a major part of, of its historical legacy. Well, I started working at The Village not really knowing my butt from a console uh, back in the late 80s. And it was a great, really kind of a freak show, uh, but a lot of great artists, and I got to get a lot of great knowledge there. I love the history of the building. Uh, the equipment works most of the time. No, it always works. It's good. Well, I could look at this screen a little more. Yeah. Once we finished the actual track and, and the client loved it as much as they did and wanted to have a full recording, I said to myself, you know, we should just treat this as though it's an actual single. You know, let's go into let's go into the studio. Let's have Barry come and engineer it. Let's let's bring Jimmy England, who's one of my favorite drummers here in L.A. Let's do this the way, you know, as if it was if it, as if we were going in and recording a single. And and it was a it was a great blast. <laughs> The drummer Jimmy England came in and he we were we were just having a couple problems technically with the click and stuff. But Jimmy was such a great drummer that he nailed it and he knew how to play behind the click and what came out from that drum performance just made the song that much, like, a lot bigger. Made it sound great. The, the initial thing was to try and put, you know, guitars on it and, and, and achieve it that way. And I think when, once we finally kind of got the main sort of piano part, the main keyboard part, and then figured out exactly what, what, the, what the drum would be, like what the rhythmic sort of part would be, then everything else sort of kind of, kind of flowed out of that. Whoa, I'll be true. Yeah, it's right there. Sure. Uh, I wonder, can we do that one more time? Just a little bit more of an emphasis on the home. Sure. I mean, it was pretty loose on the original one, so I was kind of throwing it away. Okay. So let's just let's just keep going and doing this because I like the I like what you did okay. so far. So um, after uh, dark night on a long highway, little lights in the houses say somebody's staying up late. Little lights in the houses say somebody's staying up late. 
sitting in a, in a studio with all of these accomplished musicians, it is a little bit of a trick to try and get that the same sort of energy that comes along with that rawness. It's like the right amount of roughness around the edges, but at the same time allow the musicians that, that are playing, allow their, their brilliant sort of genius to come out as, as well. All set? Freaky? Ready, Andy? Yes. Go! Go home, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.